Hello, and welcome to yet another video on Unity, on how to make your game cooler than it currently is. Today we're going to be talking about animation curves, which you can see in action right here. Um, not really how to do anything specific, I just like to show you this as a general concept, because they blew my mind when I found out they existed, and I was like, why did no one tell me these existed? So that's why I'm here to tell you that they exist. So you can see them in action right here on this circle. As you can see, this is a curve that you can edit in this nice little editor here. And I can edit it in real time. So like, say I wanted this to move up and then go down. As you can see, the circle is moving along this curve. You can also do this thing, where it goes backwards a bit, and then go forward really fast really just anything I want. It also has some nice presets, so like if I wanted it to go fast and kind of s speed up and slow down at the end, that's nice. Just have it linear, that's pretty boring. Um, have it go slow and then speed up, speed up and then slow down, etc. Anything you want. So let's see what's going on in the code. So <clears throat> first of all, uh, ignore this for a second, focus on the animation curve variable, this is how you make one, this animation curve, you can name it whatever you want. Um, you're going to need a timer in order to use these. Um, the timer, so interestingly, the timer doesn't necessarily have to be using time, it can be any variable that you want to be the x-axis of the curve, basically. Um, but usually it's time, uh, and that's what I'm going to be using in this case. So I have a max time and a current time, and then I'm doing the normal timer stuff. Uh, add to the timer over time. If the timer is greater than max time, set the timer to zero. I'm just having it loop, basically. Um, make sure it's counting up, otherwise your curve will be in reverse, unless that's what you want. Um, next up, get the percent. So basically normalizing the time from zero to one. So set the cur, uh, cur time divided by max time will give you a timer from uh, 0 to 1, which is what we want for this curve, because as you saw, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, um, there's a little 1 down here, and that shows that this curve is going from 0 to 1 in both directions. You could have it go past 1, but it's usually easier just to keep it between 0 and 1 and then have the code deal with it. Um, and now to set the position, uh, this is a little hacky, just setting it to the 0, 0, 0 plus the right vector times, so that's zero, zero, 001, times, um, and this is this is the meat. So if you want to get basically the y value at a certain x value, you plug in the time, which is the percent, and it will spit out the y value. So I'm giving it, giving it an x value down here, and it's giving me a value up here, basically. And that's what's making it move along the curve. So I have some other stuff down here to show you. So it doesn't have to be position. For example, you could have the alpha value go along the curve, or you, or the or you could have the RGB values also. But I just did the alpha value. So if I restart this, now you can see it's fading in along the curve. I could also make it kind of fade in and then fade back out. So if I wanted it, so you can make like a little flash effect that way. You can also make it only go half or have it kind of like go up and down, whatever you want. You can play with this. This is really fun to play with. Um, and then finally, say I wanted... Say I wanted the object to move not in the arbitrary go right, I want it to move between uh, this from this object to this object, but I want the movement to be along this curve, so I want the speed of the object to go along that curve, so it, it could speed up and slow down, or whatever movement I want it to have. So make these two transforms, and then you saw this earlier, I have these as variables, uh, target and base, so it moves from the base to the target, and then First, you're going to get the vector from the base to the target, and 
using vector math, we just take the target position and subtract the base position, and that will give us the vector from base to target. And then this line is pretty much identical to this line, but instead of vector zero, I'm having the base position, and instead of vector right, I'm having the vector from base to target, and then it's the same. I uh, don't need a scalar here because this is already including the um, distance. So now let's try, oh, I didn't save. So now let's see what that does. And as you can see, it's moving it. And if I were to move this object, it'll still move it. Um, for something like this, usually what you want is a S curve, which is speed up and slow down. It's usually what you're doing here. So there's a lot of different applications for this. One of the most notable, as usual, when it comes to movement is to put it on the camera. So let's try that out. We're going to put this on the camera. And if we give it the same parameters, have it give it the, oh, wrong. Give it the base, give it the target. And then give it a curve. Let's do an S curve. Oh, wait. Make sure you zero out the Z value. Turn this into new vector3 base.position.x. Position.y. And the current transform.position. And always get screwed up in 2D because Unity likes to work, likes to pretend we're in 3D all the time. So do that. Try again. There we go. So the application for this, which you can probably guess, is if you wanted to have a cinematic camera that moves. So say you're playing the game and you want the camera to move to a door that just opened. You can use this to have a nice smooth movement to the door or anywhere you want it to go. Um, and just like with the previous one, we can have it do whatever we want. If we want to like move back first and like slingshot for whatever reason, we can do that. Um, you can do other things besides position. You could have the velocity be based on a curve or even the acceleration be based on a curve, which could be interesting. Um, you could have the player uh, acceleration be on a curve. So that way, uh, if you want them to speed up quickly at the beginning and then have your, your, your acceleration taper off over time, that would make sense. Um, so yeah, there's a billion different possible applications of this. I've only shown a few. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, etc. We are a indie game company, and we create these videos as a way to try to uh, reach out to our audience. Be sure to comment any requests if you have something that you don't know about Unity and would like to start knowing. Ask me, and I might teach it to you.